over to visit Buster today. <laughs> Bandit is so excited. I wonder why. Wow, what a cool dinosaur, Buster. And Bandit has one too. <laughs> They're off to play at the park. <laughs> They're having so much fun playing with their dinosaur toys. But wait. What's that? Could it be a dinosaur? <gasps> Buster and Bandit are using their imaginations to pretend they're on a dinosaur adventure. What was that? It's a T-Rex! Run! Go, go, go! <gasps> How will they get across? Quick, the dinosaur is coming! <gasps> Aha! Buster has his cowboy lasso! Go, Buster! But Bandit is a bit nervous! Come on, Bandit! You can do it! Bandit is facing his fears. Woo! Good job, Bandit! There's no way the T-Rex can reach them over here. Uh-oh. Or maybe it can! Look! They can hide behind that tree! Quick, Bandit! Wait a second. An egg? Oh, the T-Rex wasn't chasing them after all. It was looking for its egg. Oh no. It's heading towards that cliff. Quick, Buster. Phew. The egg is safe now. The dinosaur is so grateful to Buster. <laughs> what a fun game! And it wasn't really a dinosaur. It was just Diggly, and he was looking for his ball. <laughs> Everyone loves playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! What a fantastic day playing at the park. Hello, Tony Truck. Hmm. Tony doesn't seem to be keeping an eye on the road. Oh, look! It's Frankie the Frog. He's come to say hello. Watch out, Tony! Phew! That was a close one. Oh, no. It looks like Tony has lost some of his packages. You have to be careful next time, Frankie. Tony almost hit you. Ha! Ah, what a cheeky frog. Look! Tony has left behind some of his packages. It looks like a bottle of bubble bath. It looks like Frankie has had a great idea. Ha! Look at him go! Where are you rolling off to now? There's bubbles coming out of the bottle. Hey, look! It's Buster the Bus! I think Buster wants to see where Frankie is rolling. There's even more bubbles now. It looks like you've got a pair of bubbly glasses, Buster. Hey, Scout! Why don't you come along too on this bubbly adventure? Scout wants to play in the bubbles. The bubbles are flying everywhere. Oh, I like your hat, Scout. <laughs> you look funny with a mustache, Buster. It looks like Frankie might be heading for that lake. I think this cheeky frog has had an idea. Into the lake he rolls. Look at him go. Bubbles everywhere. Wow. He's made a bubble bath. Look at all the bubbly bubbles bubbling. Go on, Buster and Scout. Jump on in. They're having so much fun playing in the bubbles. Ha! <laughs> it looks like Frankie is the bubble captain of Bubble Lake. Here comes Scout with a gigantic bubble splash. 
so many bubbles everywhere. Oh, where's Frankie gone? <laughs> there he is. <gasps> it's time to go, I think. Bye-bye, Frankie. Thanks for a bubbly adventure. <laughs> it's Halloween. Ash and Scout are at Buster's house, ready to go trick-or-treating. Whoa! That zombie costume looks amazing! Bandit is not impressed. Boo! Nope, Bandit doesn't want to join in. He thinks dressing up is for babies. Buster, Scout, and Ash head off on their trick-or-treating adventure. Hang on, Bandit would really like some Halloween sweets. <gasps> Looks like he's got an idea. <gasps> Bandit has copied Buster's costume. They look exactly the same. He's arrived at Terry's farm looking like Buster. <laughs> Trick or treat? Wow, look at all those sweeties. Oh look, Buster, Ash, and Scout have arrived. Some sweeties for Scout? Some sweeties for Ash? Hang on. Nope, Terry thinks he's already given Buster lots of sweets, but it was actually Naughty Bandit. Poor Buster. Ash and Scout like how they look in their reflections. What is that? A sweet wrapper? And another? It's Bandit eating all the sweets! Buster has a plan. Ash and Scout are pretending to think that Bandit is Buster. Bandit is looking at himself in the reflection. Wait a second. Now there are two bandits. Bandit is a bit confused and a bit scared. Where have the others gone? Boo! Buster's plan worked. Bandit has been caught in the act. And here's Terry with more sweets. He's confused by the two zombies. He's given them to Bandit again. But Bandit is sharing it with Buster. <laughs> what a funny mix-up. Happy Halloween! It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster is starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. <gasps> Oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. 
Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray! It worked! Oh dear, what a mess! Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look! Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it! Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again! It's Buster's birthday! Mommy and Grandpa are setting up a very special party. Don't eat the food yet, Buster. You've got to wait until your guests arrive. Oh, look, here they are. It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit. Everyone's so excited for the party. What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy. Not yet, Bandit. First, we're playing party games. They're playing musical statues. They have to dance until the music stops. Great move, Scout. And freeze. Oh no, Scout is losing balance. And so is Buster. They are out of the game. It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance! Bandit is losing balance! Oh no! He knocked Ash over so he could win. And now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing past the parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Oh. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped. <laughs> Poor Ash! Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake! Blow out the candles! Go, Buster! What a feast! All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster! <laughs> Look! There's Buster, Mommy, and Grandpa! <laughs> I wonder where they're going on such a snowy day. Oh. oh, wow! They're going to get a Christmas tree! So many trees! <gasps> Which one to pick? <laughs> hmm, what's this? Buster wants the biggest tree there is. That really is tall. <sighs> now it's time to take it home. Mommy is pulling the tree in her trailer. Phew, that looks heavy. Wait, oh no! The tree is too big to fit through the front door. But wait. Grandpa has an idea. Now they're trying to take it up the ramp. Nope, that doesn't work either. But now Mommy has a bright idea. Hmm, it doesn't fit down the chimney either. But Grandpa has another idea. Three, two, one, charge! Oh dear, it still doesn't fit. It's just too big. Look, it's Scout! She's off to get a Christmas tree of her own. I think Buster has an idea. 
I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> Grandpa's using his saw. Whoa, they cut the big tree in two. The scout can have half, and the other half will fit through the front door. Hooray! <laughs> there, that Christmas tree is just the right size for the house. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. There they are. Nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them. Whoops. Careful, Buster. All the tins might fall over. Phew. Great save, Grandpa. <laughs> Next. Yay! The soccer ball! Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait. Grandpa's been left behind. He can't find him. Oh, no. Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. Look, it's Ash and his mommy. They can help him get back to Grandpa. At last, Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! Buster the bus has come out to play. Watch out for that red paint, Buster. Oh, Buster's driven right through it. Look, Buster, you've painted some red lines with your tires. I think Buster's had an idea. Nice work. You've painted a circle. A circle is round. It's the same shape as your wheel, Buster. Now you've colored the circle in, Buster. It's a red circle. Oh, hey, Scout. Come and join the fun. We're learning shape. What shape is Scout painting? It's a square. A blue square. A square has four equal sides. <laughs> hey there, Digger. Digger has come to paint shapes with Buster and Scout. What shape will Digger paint? Digger isn't quite as fast as Buster and Scout. It's okay, Digger will be finished soon. It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides. <laughs> a yellow triangle. <laughs> Digger took so long to paint a shape that Buster and Scout have fallen asleep. Wake up, you two. What other shapes can we draw? A green rectangle. Great work, Buster. A gold star. That looks fantastic, Scout. And a lovely pink heart. <laughs> Digger is painting a diamond. Oh, wow! Look at all the colors go. It's a wonderful rainbow diamond. So many different colored shapes. Learning the shapes was so much fun. We made a square, circle, triangle, star, heart, rectangle, and a diamond. Well done, everyone. It's nap time in Buster's garage. Have a nice sleep, Buster. But who's this? It's a robot bus. Oh, no, he's come to cause mischief. He's made himself look like Buster. Oh, hey, Scout. She's practicing her ball skills for the football match. Here comes Robot Bus. I think Scout thinks it's Buster, not a Robot Bus. Oh, dear. Robot Bus has squashed Scout's football. What a nasty thing to do. Poor Scout is very upset. 
It's Jessie G. She's waiting for the green light. There it is. Oh, that was a close one. It's Robot Bus up to mischief again. Oh, no, Jessie thinks that's the real Buster. Oh, little Robin, be careful. Robot Bus isn't very friendly. Oh, poor Robin. Bad Robot Bus. Hey, Digger. He's having fun with his building block. Oh, no. Robot Bus has come to join in. He's ruined Digger's pyramid of blocks. Robot Bus is causing chaos. Here's the real Buster the Bus. <gasps> Waking from his nap. Oh, dear. Everyone is angry at you, Buster. They think Robot Bus was you. How can you prove that you didn't do all these mean things? Robot Bus has come to cause more chaos. Quick, Digger, there's a switch on his roof. Oh, look, he's been set to bad. Switch it to good, Digger. Well done, Digger. That seems to have done the trick. It looks like Robot Bus has gone back to normal now. Oh? <laughs> well done, everyone. That was a close one. Robot Bus could have terrorized the whole town. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Buster and Mommy Bus are visiting Terry's farm today. <laughs> yeah. Wow, the farm is so cool. Buster is so excited. <laughs> Oh, look! An adorable wow. litter of puppies! Oh. How cute! Ooh. Buster has spotted a <laughs> soccer ball. He loves <laughs> soccer. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to check that all the puppies are healthy. But Buster has other ideas. He wants to go and play some soccer on the farm. <laughs> What was that? Whoa. One of the puppies followed Buster outside. <gasps> Looks like she wants to play. <laughs> hmm, but Buster wants to play by himself. <laughs> there she is again. The puppy won't stop following him. <laughs> Buster is throwing the puppy a stick to distract her. That will make her leave. Nope, that didn't work. And now the puppy has taken the soccer ball. What a cheeky little puppy. Aha! Finally Buster got his ball back. But the puppy still wants to play. Stay there, puppy. Buster is hiding behind a stack of hay bales. <gasps> Not again! Maybe Buster can lose the puppy in the cornfield. The puppy is sad she can't find him. But Buster's plan worked. Oh, no! How did that puppy get up there? She's going to fall! And Mommy Bus and Terry haven't noticed! Quick, Buster, quick! Go, Buster! Phew! He saved the puppy! That was a close one! Oh. Mommy Bus has noticed a puppy is missing. But don't worry, Buster has brought her home. Oh. <laughs> what a fun day at the farm! Uh-oh, not again! <gasps> hey there, Buster! He's going for a drive with Scout! Look, there's Tony the delivery truck! Looks like Scout and Buster are going to follow Tony to see where he's going today! They're having so much fun together! <laughs> Silly Scout! Buster isn't paying attention to the road. Watch out, Buster! Whew, that was a close one. Pay attention, Buster. You nearly crashed into the back of Tony. Oh, look. 
There's a pothole in the road, and Tony is heading straight for it. Oh no! The pothole has caused Tony's doors to unlock. Watch out, Buster and Scout. It looks like some of those boxes might tumble out. The boxes have started to fly out into the road. I don't think Tony has even noticed. And another box is about to fall out. Wow, quick thinking, Buster. Great catch. Here comes another one. Well done, Scout. Great work. Oh no! Be careful, Scout. Scout has lost control and skidded off the road. Her box has gone flying up into that tree. Oh look, Tony is going to have to stop at that red light. This will buy you some time. Quickly, Buster, you haven't got long to return the boxes. <laughs> nice thinking, Buster. Now all you need to do is work out how to load the boxes back where they belong. It looks like Scout has an idea. Great work, Scout. You can use that plank of wood as a ramp. There we go. A perfect place to unload the boxes. Great teamwork. <laughs> Now you can close the doors, Buster. Just in time for the green light. Off Tony goes. I guess he'll never know how close he came to losing all of his boxes. Well done, Buster. Well done, Scout. I wonder what Buster has seen. A soft play park? Oh, wow. Look, there's Scout and Digger making a bridge. Perfect for Scout to go under. What's that over there? I think it's a ball pit? Yes, it is! Go on, Buster. You know you want to. Woo! Good jump, Buster. Oh, look, it's Billy the bulldozer. He's jumping on the trampoline. He looks like he's having lots of fun. Wow, Digger. You're really good on the monkey bars. Keep going. I wonder why Billy is pushing all those soft play shapes. Oh, it's for Digger to land on. Great landing, Digger. Ooh, Scout, be careful. That looks difficult to balance. Oh, wow, Scout, you're a pro. Ready, steady, go! Who's going to win? It's very close. Scout finishes first. Well done, Scout. Maybe next time, Buster. That looked really fun. I think Digger wants to play hide and seek. Good idea. Okay, Buster, you start counting while the others hide. Oh, good idea, Scout and Billy. That's a great hiding place. Digger's going to hide in the ball pit and Billy at the top of the slide. Coming, ready or not. Can you find your friends, Buster? Where could they be? Hmm, not there. Don't worry, Buster, you'll find them. You've just got to keep looking. There's Billy. Great spot, Buster. Only two left. That looks funny. Oh, there's Scout. Well done. One to go. Let's check the ball pit. Oh, Digger. Great hiding spot. What a great game. Mommy Bus and Ashley are having a relaxing day in, while Buster and Ash play tag. Oops, watch out, Buster. Hmm, maybe Buster and Ash should play outside instead. Wow, look at all that snow. What should they play? Oh, Buster knows a good game. How about cops and robbers? Ash can be the cop, and Buster can be the robber. Grandpa Bus is struggling to turn that hose on. Can Ash catch Buster? Oops, nearly. Oh, watch out, Grandpa. The hose is spraying water all over the shed. It's a bit hard to control. Oh, look, Buster has spotted the shed as a good hiding place. Off he goes, with Ash not far behind. Ash got him. Well done. Oh, no, the water on the shed is freezing into icicles. They're trapped. Buster and Ash are honking their horns for help, but no one can hear them. What else can they try? Oh, Buster has a new idea. Buster is trying to push Ash through the window, but he doesn't quite fit. 
Oh, there's Grandpa Bus. Quick, try to get his attention. Hmm. He's seen them. But, oh dear, Grandpa Bus thinks they're just playing a game. What can they do now? Oh, a fishing rod. Buster has an idea. Grandpa Bus is really looking forward to eating his sandwich. But, oh no, it's snatched away. Buster is using the fishing rod to hook the sandwich and get Mommy Bus's attention. Go, Buster! Huh? It worked! Oh. Mommy Bus has spotted them. Hmm. Mommy Bus to the rescue. What's she got there? <laughs> ah, Mommy Bus is using a hairdryer to melt the icicles. What a good idea! <laughs> But they're melting very slowly. <laughs> hmm, this could take a while. Hmm. She's determined hmm. it will work. <sighs> Nearly there. <laughs> Buster and Ash are free at last. <laughs> Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> and everything is back to normal. It's Halloween, and Buster is at Daddy's house. Oh, but Halloween can be scary. Daddy Bus has an idea. He's going to tell a Halloween story. Daddy's going to tell a story of the brave wizard's adventure to find the magic gems and save Halloween. Buster the brave wizard went on an adventure. He had to find all the magic gems. There must be gems in that castle. They're guarded by a monster. <laughs> this wizard must be very brave, Dad. The wizard was the bravest of all, Buster. Ah. The hero presses on through the dark woods towards the castle. Something stirs in the darkness up ahead in the forest. What is it, Dad? A werewolf? A ghost? A were-ghost! The mysterious shadow grows larger. Is it the monster? He found a jewel! Well done! <laughs> Finally, the wizard reached the mysterious castle. There must be more gems inside, huh? but how to get there? <gasps> he needs to lower the drawbridge, but how? The wizard could use his magic. <laughs> Good idea. The brave adventurer pushed forward inside the castle walls. into the oh. castle. How brave the wizard is. Ah! What will our hero do? Run huh? or continue? Continue, continue. Ooh. The wizard has to find the treasure and save Halloween. <laughs> ah. But what's that behind them? It's the monster. Ah! If the <gasps> wizard wants to get those magic jewels, he'll need to get past it. Wait, Daddy. Mm. The monster must be really lonely. Mm. Oh, I suppose so, yes. The monster is lonely. Maybe the wizard should help the monster. Ah. He needs a friend. And so the brave wizard rolled up and used his magic to make the castle all warm and bright. Ah. <laughs> the monster is you, Dad. <laughs> the monster was so grateful he gave the wizard all the magic jewels. So brave Buster <laughs> saved Halloween for everyone. There's Buster and Scout driving home. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> oh, wow! It's a little baby reindeer! She must be lost! Buster is trying to cheer her up! Aw, I think she wants to play! <laughs> She's a jumpy little girl! Now Buster's throwing a snowball! Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Scout! 
<laughs> it's fun to play with new friends. <gasps> now Buster has built a snow ramp. I wonder what he's up to. Vroom! Buster's doing a big jump. Now it's the baby reindeer's turn. Whoosh! <laughs> now Scout. Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Buster. <gasps> but where's the baby reindeer gone? They're following the footprints. There! <laughs> she was playing hide and seek. <gasps> Where's Scout going? A big pile of snow. Oh, look! It's Scout! Whoa! More reindeer footprints. Bigger ones. I wonder where they lead. I think the friends are going to follow them. The tracks are winding all through the trees. Look! It's Mommy and Daddy reindeer! They're so happy they found Baby. Baby Reindeer has had so much fun playing with Buster and Scout. But now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, Baby Reindeer. See you again soon. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. <laughs> Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some Whoa. nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm. Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look! He's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow! He's getting it! Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight, along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh wow, he's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster. Five. Oh dear, down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops, he knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with, but he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no, he moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no. He's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. 
That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. Look, it's Buster the bus on a bright new morning. What's he going to do today? What's that? Seeds? Whoa! Buster's going to grow some fruits and vegetables. Buster heads to his vegetable patch and takes a look at the instructions. First, he needs to dig a hole to plant the seeds in. Buster starts digging. Oh dear, this could take a long time. But look, there's Diggly. He'll be able to help. Diggly's the best at digging, and he's always happy to help his friend. Diggly will have holes for the seeds dug in no time. There, no problem. Now Buster plants all the seeds in the holes and looks at step two. Sunshine. The seeds need sunshine to grow. But uh-oh, it's a cloudy day. But look, there's Monty, the hot air balloon. Maybe he can help. There, Monty's pushed the cloud away. Now the seeds are growing. Now, step three. Rain? Looks like another job for Monty. He's hopping on the cloud and perfect. Now they just have to wait for the seeds to grow. Many days pass. The plants get bigger. Then one bright morning, Buster checks his calendar. Today is the day! <laughs> Look! Red tomatoes, orange pumpkins, yellow sweet corn, green beans, and purple eggplants. Well done, Buster! Look at all the colorful fruit and vegetables he's grown. Now he can share them with his friends. <laughs> Buster, wake up. There's a snowflake. That can only mean one thing. It must be snowing. Wow, it is snowing. <laughs> Whee! But wait, where's the Christmas tree? That one won't do, <sighs> will it? Oh, look, it's a friendly robin. I wonder what he's saying. I think he wants Buster to follow him. Oh, he wants to help Buster find a new Christmas tree. Hmm, these ones aren't quite right. Wow, that one looks amazing. Buster certainly agrees. That's a tall tree, isn't it, Buster? <laughs> Careful does it, Buster. Whoop, it's wobbling. It's wobbling. Keep going, Buster. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> Off Buster goes to carry it back to the garage. I'm not sure if that will fit. It looks very big. Be careful with the turns, Buster. Oh no, behind you, Buster, you've lost the tree. Look behind you. Quick, 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 hurry, Buster, turn around. Oh no, the tree is bouncing away. Quick, Buster, see if you can catch up with it. Now it's bouncing through all of the Christmas lights. <gasps> quick, Buster, do you think Buster's going to make it? Look at it, flying through the air. Go on, Buster. Lucky you, Buster. That's a relief. <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh, look, here's Terry. Here's Scout. They've come to celebrate the holidays with Buster. Well done. And Happy Buster holidays. and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is ah. so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. <laughs> but first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. 
There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. Huh. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Hmm. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> ah. Oh. Huh? But then... Huh? I came face to face with... A dinosaur! <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second. That's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear. Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> this summer, I was at the beach, but Ooh. then I saw... Mm. No. Yes, oh. pirates are even cooler <laughs> than sharks. <Ooh>. Yarm, <laughs> Hmm. Okay, ah. the pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth oh. out with a little help from a friendly little bee. <laughs> we took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story. It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea. They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Uh. <laughs> Oop. Who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry. Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira. Uh-oh. Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa! They both want the same bag. Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first. Off he goes, Mira. Whoops. Mira, you spooked the teacher. <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys. Whoa. It's Grandpa and Terry. Both of them move very slowly. <laughs> you sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh, no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Miro spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But, oh no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf. Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. 
Buster offers her the icing sugar, and she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. Hey everyone, what a lovely sunset. I bet Buster has had so much fun in the sun. I wonder what that green slime is. Oh no, it's dropped on Buster, and I don't think he's noticed. What's happening? Something isn't right. Look at all the gravestones and pumpkins appearing. This is spooky. And what's happened to Buster? I think that green slime has changed Buster into a zombie. That's one big pumpkin digger is carving, and it looks great. Who's that? Oh no, it's Zombie Buster. Digger is really frightened, but I don't think Buster knows what he looks like. Oh look, it's Scout. Buster is so happy to see her. Oh no, she seems scared too. Oh no, Scout is hiding from Buster, just like Digger did. <gasps> Poor Buster is so upset and lonely. Come on, Scout, Buster is your friend. I think Scout has an idea. <gasps> she wants Buster to follow her. Do you see now, Buster? You look like a zombie. That's why everyone is scared of you. Don't worry, Buster. Look, the slime has come off on Scout's wheel. I think Scout has a plan. A car wash? Good idea, Scout. Buster always loves a car wash. Yay, the green has gone. Buster is no longer a zombie. That was super spooky, Buster. Oh my, Scout, you sound like a werewolf. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Buster is so excited, he can barely stay still. He can't wait for Christmas Day. Daddy has a Christmas cracker for Buster. Who's going to win? Pull, Buster. Whoa, well done, Daddy. But now it's time for bed, or else Santa won't come. Look, Buster's dreaming about the presents. He hopes his present will be the biggest present ever. It's Christmas Day, and Buster and Daddy are going to Mommy's house. Buster can't wait. <laughs> Buster's so excited to see the presents, he's rushing. Buster is wondering where is his present. This one is for Mommy. Daddy's present. One for Grandpa. Is the small one for him? Buster is a bit disappointed. Oops! The labels have come off. Oh no! Buster doesn't know whose present is whose. Buster hopes the labels are on the right presents. It's time to open the presents. Mommy, Grandpa, and Daddy roll up to find Buster sneaking a look at the presents. Grandpa has some weights. That doesn't seem right. Mommy has some glasses, but Mommy can't see with them. And Daddy has a stethoscope. That doesn't seem right either. Huh? Oh. oh no, the presents got mixed up. Nobody has the right presents. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Maybe Buster can work out which present belongs to who. Hmm. The weights hmm. must be for Daddy. He's really strong. And the stethoscope is for Mommy, because she's a vet. 
And the glasses are for Grandpa. Good job, Buster. It's just Buster's small present left. What is inside? Oh, a camera! Buster loves it! He's going to take a selfie with his family. Merry Christmas, Buster. It's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team. Though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm. Buster thinks they should go this way. But Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear, they can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look, Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team! <laughs> Whoosh! Off they go! And that's more like it! Now it's a real fun snowball fight! It's much better with teamwork! Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is! Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Look at it go! Look, there's Mommy! She's coming to tell them lunch is ready! And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing. But, oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No, maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. <gasps> Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? <laughs> Under that pile of leaves? <laughs> Hooray! They found the toy car! But wait, now the controller is missing! Where did it go? Oh, there it is! Well spotted, Buster! Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again! But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them! Good job! It's Buster the bus! I wonder what he's up to today! An Easter egg hunt! There's one Easter egg! Nice work, Buster! There's another! That's two! And three! Four! Five! So many!
Whoa, that's a lot of Easter eggs, Buster. Mmm, they look yummy. Buster loves chocolate eggs. Tasty! Buster's eating as many eggs as he wants. Good morning, Buster. Oh dear, Buster looks very unwell. He has a tummy ache. I think he ate too many chocolate Easter eggs. Here comes Scout the car to see if Buster's okay. He looks really sick. Poor Buster. Scout is going to take him to Amber the ambulance. She'll be able to help. There's Amber. She always knows how to make little buses feel better. Hmm. Hmm. Yup, Buster is sick all right. But luckily, Amber has some medicine to help. Open wide, Buster. That'll make you feel better. But that's not all. If Buster wants to fix his tummy ache, he needs to eat some healthy food, like an apple. There, that'll soothe Buster's grumbly tummy. The next day, Buster is feeling much better. Oh, hey, it's Diggly the Digger. What's Diggly got there? Uh-oh, I think Buster has had enough chocolate Easter eggs for one Easter. <laughs> Today, Buster and his family are having a picnic. Buster is so excited! Mommy Bus is off to get Grandpa. And whilst she's gone, Buster and Bandit need to prepare the picnic. First, they have to lay down the picnic blanket. Whoa, the wind has blown it away. It looks like a cape. It's Super Buster. Bandit wants a cape too. And it's a tug of war. Buster is imagining that he is a superhero. Super Buster flying through the sky. It's bad guy Bandit. Mwahaha! He's stolen the picnic! Oh no! Super Buster has got to save it! They are chasing through the sky. Go, Super Buster, go! You can catch him! Oh no! Bad Guy Bandit is aiming at Super Buster with his laser shapes! But Super Buster is too fast! Wow, look at him go! Hooray! Super Buster has saved the picnic. But what is that? It's a giant blue laser ball. Oh no! What is Super Buster going to do? Aha! He's using the flagpole as a bat. Bring it on, bad guy bandit. Great shot, Super Buster. Whack! Wow, that was such a fun game! But oh no, they've made a huge mess! And Mommy Bus and Grandpa are on their way! What are they going to do? Quick, they've got to clear it up! As superheroes, of course! Super Buster and Bad Guy Bandit are clearing up the city! Even superheroes need to clean up after themselves. <laughs> Just in time! Great teamwork, guys! <laughs> yum, yum! Delicious! And all that superhero work has left them very hungry. And Ash are on holiday at the beach. Mommy Bus and Mommy Fire Truck are preparing a barbecue. And Buster and Ash are building an amazing sand castle. Whoa, those waves are really coming in. Quick, the sand castle could be ruined. 
Ash to the rescue. He's protecting the castle with a wall of sand. Great idea, Ash. Oh, look, it's Iggy, the ice cream truck. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, no! Ash's wall couldn't stop the waves. They've ruined their sand castle. Buster is very sad. But Ash has got a plan to save it. Buster is too upset to help. Maybe an ice cream will cheer him up. I wonder what flavors he'll choose. <laughs> wow, that's a huge ice cream! Whoa, steady! Ash is still fixing the sand castle. Buster could get Ash an ice cream too, but he's upset with Ash because his wall didn't protect the sand castle. Buster's only getting ice cream for himself. Whoa! Ash has rebuilt the sand castle. Good as new! Buster now feels bad he didn't get Ash an ice cream. So he's giving Ash his. Be careful, don't drop it. Iggy gives them another cone. Now they can share the ice cream. Yum, yum, delicious! Daddy Bus is reading a book about wildlife. There are so many amazing animals. Bah! What was that? Buster's taking photos with his new camera. <laughs> what a silly picture, Daddy. <gasps> it's given Daddy an idea. Daddy Bus and Buster are on a wildlife scavenger hunt to find this red and blue butterfly. Wow! Buster is determined to find it. <gasps> there it is! Buster, behind you! Oh no, they didn't see it! Maybe the butterfly is hiding in that long grass? <laughs> Let's check it out! Oh look, Buster has spotted something! <laughs> Snap! <laughs> Wait a second, it wasn't the red butterfly. It was Ash the fire truck with his mommy. Buster takes a photo for them. What a nice thing to do, Buster. Buster, look up, quick, there's the butterfly. Oh no, he missed it again. Aha! Buster knows where they should look next. Maybe the butterfly will be by the lake. Hmm. <gasps> there it is! There's the butterfly! Steady, Buster. Don't scare it away. Oh no! Don't worry, Buster. You just have to be patient. What's that? It's red and blue. Oh no, not again. It was just teacher's red bow tie. It's a great photo though, Buster. Mm. Poor Buster. He's upset he hasn't found the butterfly yet. It's okay, Buster. You just need to be patient. <gasps> There it is! Buster, look up! Buster, look up! <laughs> That's it. Take a deep breath and be patient. He's getting some amazing photos of all the wildlife. <gasps> There's the butterfly! Quick! Go, Buster! Ooh. He finally managed to get the photo, and it was definitely worth the wait. Buster, Mommy Bus, and Ash are at the Soft Play Center. How exciting! Looks like Buster wants to play in the big kids section, but he's not quite big enough yet. Wow, this is amazing! Ash is very excited. 
but Buster thinks he's too old for soft play. They're having so much fun! Look at them go! But Buster doesn't want to join. Now they're bouncing on the trampoline! Whee! That does look like lots of fun, Buster! Nope, he's still not going to play. What is Ash running from? Oh look, it's Captain Mommy! Arg! Quick, run away, Ash! He's escaped to the ball pit. That looks like so much fun! Now Buster wants to join in. Quick, the captain is going to catch you! Go, Buster! Buster is really getting into this now. Ahoy, me hearties! What was that? <laughs> gotcha! It's Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash to the rescue! Run away! <laughs> Look at them go! Watch out, Captain Mommy! Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash have saved the day! See, Buster? The soft play center was lots of fun after all! 